September 15th of this year marked the 60th anniversary of the bombing of 16th Street Baptist Church in Birmingham, Alabama, where four little black girls were murdered um, by the Ku Klux Klan who set those bombs off at that church one Sunday morning. Now, of course, we hear a lot about those four black girls as we should, right? Because it happened in 1963, right at the beginning of the civil rights movement. But we have not heard a lot about the two black boys that were also murdered on that very same day. Johnny Robinson, who uh, was 16 at the time, he was at a protest uh, that was taking place due to the bombing of the church earlier that day. Now, as he and other uh, black boys were at the protest, cars of white supremacists drove by with Confederate flags hanging out of them and they were throwing rocks at the crowd. Well, it is said that uh, Johnny was uh, throwing rocks back when a police officer, Jack Parker, uh, came upon the scene. Now, conveniently, he didn't see the white boys throwing rocks. He only saw the black boy. Now, as Johnny saw the officer, it is said that he, along with, you know, the other guys took off running and he was shot in his back by the officer, Jack Parker. Now, of course, he was not brought to justice. And then later on that day, Virgil Ware, who was 13, was riding on the handlebars of his brother James's bike when a group of white boys approached them. And I guess they said they mistook them for some other black boys that they got into it with earlier. And uh, the shooter, Larry Sims, was handed a gun by another white boy, Michael Farley, and Larry said he was told to shoot it up in the air to scare the black boys. Well, he said that he closed his eyes and let off two shots. Uh, one hit Virgil in the chest and the other one hit him in the face, killing him. Now, the two white boys were brought up on charges of second degree uh, murder or something like that. Nevertheless, they, they were found guilty, let's say that, but they got a suspended sentence and only had to do two years probation for taking Virgil's life. And so both families of Johnny and Virgil said that while they obviously mourn for, uh, of the death of the four little black girls, they said it's been very hard getting people to know about what happened to their boys that happened on the very same day. And so um, it is now, you know, being talked about more, but it should be said that in a park in Birmingham, Alabama, there um, is a statue of the four little girls and on a park bench, the names of all six children, including the two uh, black boys are there as well. And so um, I thought you should know about that. Very interesting. I didn't know. I, I never heard about the story until I saw it um, on NBC uh, to be exact. So hopefully uh, that has brought some new knowledge to you. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show here on YouTube. Peace.